Hey, what's up, Christus? DJ Robinson here, reporting from Absolute Radio. Well... D DJ Robinson, just in there you had your name. Now you're a DJ? You've been in there like 10 minutes. It took me 18 years to get this good. You don't just call yourself a DJ. It gets handed to you. You have to be earned it, okay? So you're just Robinson. Do it again. How did you become a DJ? Well, for 10 years, I went out to Tibet and was in a monastery where I was beaten every day by martial arts experts. I had to wrestle with them. Every day, I didn't know whether I was going to survive. And once I've been through this rigorous, rigorous training, never knowing if I was going to escape with my own life. Only after 10 years, I was woken up in the middle of the night by the main trainer there to say, now you are ready to become a DJ. That's my story. Tell the DJs who want to become DJs when they're older, how, give them three tips how to become one. So the first thing is, you've got to work out, is it really, really what you want to do? Uh, and how much it means to you? Because um, everyone thinks it's very easy to uh, get your own radio show. It, uh, I had to work around the country at very small radio stations, not been paid very much money before I got to where I am now, this big national radio station. Um, so you've got to work out if it's really what you want to do and you've got to make it your passion. You've also got to make it your obsession. Do you know what obsession is? It's when you can't stop thinking about something. It has to happen. And that's what radio was for me and still is now. Otherwise, after almost 19 years, um, I wouldn't still be excited about getting out of bed at four o'clock in the morning. And the third thing is, is um, always try to be learning new things. Don't ever be fixed. Always try to be growing and learning new things. That's why it's nice about writing the book, is that was a real struggle. And uh, I found it really hard work. But through that struggle, that's where we learn new stuff. Do you also have an inspiring audio teacher, just like Spike in Radio Boy? Uh, I did have an audio teacher, but I did have a teacher uh, called Mr. Taggart, who actually uh, is the teacher in that book. Mr. Taggart sadly died about 15 years ago. I never got the chance to say thank you for everything he did for me. And so that is my little bit of thank you by putting him in the book and making him the kind, friendly teacher. Because as you already know at school, a great teacher can make a whole difference, can't they? And Mr. Taggart one day, uh, after the lesson, asked me to stay behind at the end of school and said that um, I should do something in comedy or entertainment. And it was the first time anyone in my life had said, you might be able to do something different. And so, yeah, he made a, a massive difference in, in, in my life and what I went on to do. It was, I, I left school that day thinking, maybe I could do something a bit different. What do you do when the music's playing? Make a cup of tea, fire the chauffeur, go internet shopping. We promise we won't tell your producers. Okay, uh, if it's just us. Uh, what I do is um, I will do 1,000 sit-ups and 1,000 press-ups, and then I'll wrestle uh, with my producer. Believable? Um, yeah. This guy. See you later, Cribsters. Peace in. Peace out.